In this video, I'll be doing a uh, CSS rounded image. Okay, so first of all, let's create our HTML basic structure. Then uh, use an image element. Okay, then inside this is my image element. I already have it in my folder here. Inside this is my folder. Inside this is our project folder. I have a, an image folder. Inside the image folder, I have two image uh, files here. Okay. So let's close back this one back. Okay. So to access that image, just uh, if you you can just type the the name of the image, or you can just type the name of the image. Since it's inside the folder, you type in the the name of the folder slash the name of the file. But the easiest way to do it in VS Code is to use dot slash dot backwards slash. It will list out the contents of your project folder. Everything inside your uh, project folder will be listed. And then you select uh, what you need. Okay, let's do that. Dot backwards slash. This is the content of my um, the content of my uh, project folder. So I will go to image. Inside the image, I will make use of this uh, laptop.jpg. Uh, okay. So having selected that, let me refresh. You can see the image. Okay. Then let me add alternative. Let me say laptop image. If you have watched my, my HTML tutorial, you understand what this alternative does. So go and watch that uh, HT, uh, my HTML video on images okay having said that uh having said that let's proceed to css so i've done all i need to do in this html okay okay let me reduce this this the screen size why i'm having these two screen is because i spread this a vs code uh working screen so i i spread this I split the screen into two. One is for I use one for um, HTML, and then I use the other one for CSS. So I can be working on the two files at the same time. Okay, so to do a CSS landed image, let's start with uh, let's start with border reduce. Okay, let me use image cell. Let me use element selector by using IMG, which is the name of the element. Then inside the element, let me say border reduce. Uh, border radius, border radius. Let me give it a uh, ten. Uh, let me say ten. Let me say fifteen pixels. Let's see how it looks like. Oh, it's not having any effect. The reason is that we have not linked our CSS. This is our standard CSS file. We have not linked it to our HTML file. So to do that. On, go under the title, type in link, link, then inside the hash left, do the same thing you did when adding the image to select your um, CSS file, dot backwards slash, then select my uh, CSS file is inside the CSS folder, so click the, I click the CSS folder, and here is my CSS file, style.css, then I select it, okay. Now you can see the effect on the image. The edges is now kind of a curvy. Okay. So let me just add uh, border. Let me add border um, border line to it so you can see it well. Let me say border uh, border. Let me use uh, say one pixel solid uh, solid solid. Okay, you can see it now. But let me comment this so you can understand what I what I meant. Control. Okay. So I comment this um, border radius. You can see the edges are, are square. So to to make it a bit roundy, you use um, uh, this border radius. Okay. Border radius. Okay. Okay, so let me um, increase, let me use percentage to make it look more like a circle, something like that. The more you add the value, the more it keep on curving. Okay, let me use percentage. Let me start from one percentage. 
uh, one percent. I think it will not have any effect. About five percentage. You can see it's covering it's covering small small. Okay. Then how about ten percentage ten percent. You can see how it's covering. How about twenty percent? You can see the covering is even more visible. How about um thirty? It's covering. Okay, how about fifty percent? You can see it's almost like a full circle. Okay, you can see that it's almost like a full circle. Then hundred percent, hundred percent will almost look like that's that of fifty. Okay, it will almost look like that that of fifty. So this how to do um this is a CSS uh, landed image. How to uh, round the edges of your image in CSS. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.